Hi there and welcome to another tutorial from Final Cut Pro Tutorials and we're going to be looking here in Final Cut Pro how to set up our projects and keep everything uh, nicely organized. So I personally work with a external hard drive where I keep all of my media on because otherwise your laptop hard drive can get filled up very quickly. Um, so my raw footage after I've shot it um, I, I store it onto an external hard drive. Um, so once we open up Final Cut Pro, we're going to need to start off by creating a library. So we're, we're going to go to New um, Library and we'll call this library Tutorial. And you'll see when you create a new library, we get these two defaults created. So one is an event, so that's um, by default is given today's date. And the other is a smart collection. So we'll come on to the smart collection later. So basically you have a project which can be filled with events and each one of those events can be filled with media. So let's um, go to this first event here that we've got and we'll go to import media. And I'm going to import from my external hard drive, that's my media drive. And let's get some raw footage from uh, something I was working on. So let's take a look at this here and we'll bring in this piece of footage there. So this is now our footage here inside our event. Um, so that is how the, um, the libraries are, are arranged. And then in our smart collection here, you can go to audio, you can go to video, um, or to stills and it will show us all video parts or you can find audio only etc so if we bring in some audio to here into this event um, we select audio from down there and I'm going to bring something in from my iTunes library um, say this here we just drag that over into our event and you'll see now we have some audio there. So again, if we go over to our smart collection, we go to audio only, you'll see here is our audio. And it's been arranged by date. So this is the date that that particular piece of audio was created um, as a file on my computer. Um, so the smart collections allow you to easily find things by, by date. And then we have the events which you can store inside various media. So that's basically how projects are arranged. Now you can create new events, so we could go to new event here, and you can give these events names. So let's say this is um, tutorial footage. Now you can move things from one event to another. So I may want to move this piece of imported media here into our tutorial footage. And I'll move, I'll create a uh, new event actually, which we will call tutorial audio. And I'm going to move our audio into there. Now I can delete this default event, no longer needed, move event to trash, there we go. And now we have our project. Um, I'm gonna delete this and we'll call this project here our tutorial project. So here now we have our tutorial audio, we have our tutorial footage, and our tutorial project. If you select the project, you'll see now in our timeline down here, this is going to be our video timeline. And we can drag imported media into this timeline, like so. We can also drag imported audio down into that timeline as well and arrange it where we want it to be. We can also then begin to trim our video so we can get rid of bits that are at the beginning, for example. And we can also trim our audio to match the same length. If we turn on snapping, you'll see that now we can, oh, there, snapping, sorry, this one. 
So if we turn on snapping, we can now snap our audio to the end of the video. So this is our snapping button here. If you turn snapping off, you see you have to position it yourself and nothing snaps. So uh, turn snapping on, and now you can snap to various positions. If you want that to also snap to the beginning, we can drag that along. So that is a basic introduction to how you set up your project and you bring your media into the timeline and combine it together with audio. Now we might want to add some titles to this so we can select our text there and we've got various different types of titles that we can choose from. So I'm going to go for a, a basic 3D title. So there's our preview here of the basic 3D title. That's how it will appear. So I'm going to drag that over into our timeline there. And if we play that, you'll see that we get that title showing up. We can edit the title over here so we can change the text. And there we go. Now we can snap our audio to the end of that title sequence. So once that title fades out, then the audio would start. Now there's lots of different titles that you can choose from. They're all arranged over here. You can drag those in and you can begin to create your own title sequences and uh, we can also go over into Motion 5 and you can create your own customized um, titles which can then be utilized here in Final Cut Pro. There's tutorials about how to do that to create these types of title effects um, here on my YouTube channel. Um, so with our audio, you may want to separate an audio track um, from the video. So if you right click on there, you can go to Detach Audio. And now you can see the audio track, which was previously attached to our video, has now been detached. We could then delete, oops, that's our music track. We can then delete that audio. So now we'll have no audio on our video. So if you've filmed uh, a scene, maybe outdoors, and um, there's some background noise you want to remove, when you import your um, video file here into Final Cut Pro, and you bring it down into the timeline, the audio will be there as part of the video, as you can see. But we can detach that audio and remove it, so now we just have the video sequence with the audio that we have chosen to play over the background. So that's the basic setup and use of Final Cut Pro. In our other tutorials here on the YouTube channel, you'll see a lot more information and a lot more um, tools that uh, Final Cut Pro has that you can use to create your own um, video sequences. And we've also got tutorials here on Motion 5 and how you can create title sequences and other visual effects that can be then incorporated into your video sequences here in Final Cut Pro. So th thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.